you know, we've often talked in the seed stock business about, you know, how wonderful genetic predictions are, how we can hit the targets of merit. And I've always struggled with the hypocrisy of the fact that if genetic predictions are good for me as a seed stock producer, why in the heck wouldn't they be good for our customers? And so, you know, we've had a lot of our our largest customers and even a lot of our smaller customers have, have submitted data uh, blood cards to Method Genetics and this is going to allow them not only to benchmark with us but allow us to benchmark with them and so they're like kids in a candy store they remind me of Mark Gardner back in the the very first sire summary days and I was learning how to do this well well if I do this this and this I can make them better or if I change this you know remove this part of the population and expand this part I mean again like we talked about on on these seed stock bulls I mean we don't want to fool ourselves. And a commercial producer, in the past, how they really sorted them, oh, they'll run them down the alley. I like this one, I like that one. And, and that's still important, form and function. I mean, they've got to be able to walk. They've got to not run over you and uh, hurt you. They've, uh, they've, you know, I mean, we, we have certain physical functions that, that we like of them. But in general, the majority of them are going to be acceptable for that. So now, if we can, can make a list of all the ones that, that fit the criteria that we want, say, for a commercial operation, which won't be a lot different than what we are, they're going to want cavities, early growth, in-product merit, maternal function, docility, heifer pregnancy. So now they have all those tools. And so rather than, boy, that's a good one right there. Hey, this one, you know, she ranks in the upper percentiles of my herd, which benchmarking against Gardner Angus Ranch, you know, you know, I know where that is percentile in the entire database. I can start moving in a linear direction uh, for the traits of merit where I need and want to be to be more profitable. And I can just see the, the customers, again, large and small, the lights coming on and they want to know more, 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 and faster and faster and faster. And that's the way we are here at Gardner Angus Ranch too. We want to know more and more, faster and faster. And I'm so excited that, that Dr. Sally Northcutt and Bill Bowman have have made the effort uh, to be professional, data-driven suppliers uh, that are really into the commercial beef industry. And uh, oftentimes, when we've looked at, at some of the past systems, they were the best we've had, and they, you know, my family wouldn't be here without them, and we're so thankful for them. But industries evolve, industries move on, and what Bill and Sally are doing allows us to move at a much quicker pace than we ever have before allows our commercial customers to move at a much more rapid uh, rate of change for the traits that matter to them and and it's industry driven and that's the key it's industry driven and uh, you know I know this about my friends at National Beef and US Premium Beef when they get up in the morning what do they want to do my god they want to make money and I really don't know any of our commercial customers that aren't driven just the same way and so uh, I, I tip my hat to, to many of the other functions that we have in, in breeds of cattle and, and cattle associations. I think that's wonderful. I think that's important. That's how we get our youth uh, engaged and, and educated in the business. But the business of beef has never seen a finer system than what Dr. Sally Northcutt and Bill Bowman have put together, and that's exciting.